You know, you have black uh, uh, preachers, and, and you've heard, you know about my iron triangle, the black preacher, the black politician, the black civil rights worker. They go into the black community. Consistently, you're a victim. You're oppressed. The country hates you. Well, see, I look at them and I say, I'm a black man, but I cannot be oppressed. You know why? Because I'm a child of God. I'm an heir of Jesus Christ. I cannot be a victim. Why? Because I'm an heir of Jesus Christ. I'm a child of God. I cannot be a victim. See, they tell these people to go against their religion and their basic ideology because most black men say they're Christians, right? But then they walk around saying, I'm oppressed. I'm a victim. I'm afraid. 365 times in our Bible, they tell us to fear not. Yet they walk around saying they're afraid in, in, in the United States of America. LeBron James said he's afraid. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar says he's afraid. Kaepernick said he's afraid. Well, I'm a black man in America, and I'm not afraid of a damn thing. I don't ask for permission in my own house. America is my home. So as they walk around here crying, talking about I'm frightened, I'm afraid, I can't make it, please help me, I tell them they stink in my nostrils. They're an affront to God. The flip side of white male intimidation during the civil rights was also black male cowardice. They laid down and let them beat them, slap them around. Well, no, not me, never me. I'm a free man. I live in the United States of America. They say it's an honor to be that, it's, that there's white supremacy and that uh, 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 white people have some type of privilege. Well, as I said before, it is a privilege to be white, but it's also a privilege to be black. And it's a privilege to be an American. And it's really a, pri a privilege to be a Christian in the United States of America, the greatest country on the face of this earth. And they're not going to make a George Floyd out of me. I stand up strong. I look them in the eye. And I said, I'm a free man. My freedom comes from God. It's an unalienable right given to me by him. You cannot touch it. And if you try it, I got two things that'll get you off of me. Jesus and my 38. Come try me out.